Genesis 3 verse 9. There is so much to say about this incredible verse. So our heading is convince of sin. So this is the second of the five ways that God used this question. Where are you? Let us hear the voice of God saying to us, if today we are out of God and out of Christ, where are you, Adam? I made you in my own image. I made you a little lower than the angels. I made you to have dominion over the works of my hands. I put all things under your feet. I ask of you but one little thing that you would not touch, that one tree which I have reserved for myself. Where are you? Are you in the room of a thief, a rebel, a traitor? Have you sinned, O oh Adam? Where are you? Firstly, to many of you the Lord may ask, may say, I gave you a godly mother who wept over you in your childhood. I gave you a holy father who longed for your conversion. I gave you the gift of providence. You never wanted for a meal. I clothed your back. I put you in a comfortable position in life. I raised you up from a bed of sickness. I overlooked ten thousand follies. My mercies like a river have flown to you. When you opened your eyes in the morning, it was to look upon my goodness. Until the last moment of the night, night I was your helper. Secondly, are you not at this day a disbeliever, content to trust in your own works, but not to take the finished righteousness of my beloved Son, the Savior of the world? What have you done for him who has done so much for you? Where are you? Application. Where are you? Are you not today in the camp of my enemy? Are you not on Satan's side defying me and lifting up the puny arm of your rebellion against the Lord that made you and that keep the breath in your nostrils? In whose hand your life is? Sinner, where are you today? After all God's goodness, are you still a sinner? I pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, may I not answer on the question, Here I am, Lord, but I am naked. In Jesus' name, help me, O oh God. Amen and Amen.